How'd that feel? How'd it feel? I mean, this is probably one of the better games I've had in my life. Um, can't, can't really recall too many times I've hit two home runs, especially in big situations. So that was a lot of fun. Any doubt on the last one? No. Nah, I knew it was gone. <laughs> Didn't look like you had any doubt on either one of them. No, nah, they were they were both uh, two uh, like they're pretty well hit balls this season, so I knew they were both going. Josh, what does this do for this team to continue this? I mean, it didn't look good there, seven mm-hmm. three, for you all to fight back and get this one. Um, it's pretty much our motto has been just never give up. Uh, just pretty much all season, it's kind of been doubted. So I mean, just, we just use that as motivation, and uh, we never give up. And it doesn't matter what the lead is, we always know that our lineup is going to be better than any other lineup. And we just come out with confidence and. Uh, no lead is ever too big for us. Is this 40th win a benchmark for you guys? Because you look up at the struggling middle of the season and you won 40 games. Uh, yeah, it's a huge accomplishment, especially uh, looking at one point in the season, I think we were like 20 and 12 or something like that. And uh, just being able to get 40 wins is huge. And I uh, just gives you a lot of momentum for going in uh, into the ACC tournament. To finish this series the way you all did, two comebacks, I mean, your ball with that five or eight. What type of momentum does this give you for the playoffs? Um, it just gives you a uh, pretty much just like a really like full steam ahead. And then uh, there's just like no doubt that you can play with anybody in the country. And uh, I just know this team has all the con- confidence in the world. On that second home run. <laughs> <laughs> on that second home run about right there, you were jumping in the air and you saw it go over the, go over the wall. What was going through your mind? Uh, I wasn't thinking. That was just a blackout moment. Um, I don't know. It was a big, it was a big home run. Uh, put us ahead. Uh, obviously, I was extremely excited. And uh, I just couldn't wait to get to home plate and celebrate with the boys. Josh, a lot of... At what point did you come to? Uh, probably after I took my helmet off and shook Coach Max in. Yeah, I just don't remember, I don't remember anything <laughs> from after getting the ball. As, after the middle of the year, the, the bullpen kind of got some grief. You know, I mean, they were giving up some runs. For Brian to come out and do that today, how big is that moving forward, you think? Yeah, Brian's been huge for us lately. Um, I know he struggled a little bit in the beginning of the season. Um, but ever since then, probably a midway point, he's just been coming out and shoving and just not caring what happens. And that's the mentality everybody everybody needs. And that's the mentality our bullpen has been taking. And uh, everybody just comes out and just puts it in the zone. If they hit it, they know the defense is going to make a play. And uh, we've been a lot better since. Seems like the offense is really finding their groove. I mean, some guys that went through slump, but now it seems like the bats are really coming around, even getting some big hits off the bench. Yeah. There's one of the leaders. Your thoughts on that? Um, we pretty much just had a uh, team meeting, and everybody just said, um, just the selfishness, the selfishness has to stop, and uh, everybody has to know their role. And whatever your role is, you got to embrace it. And uh, we just went back to being Louisville baseball. Uh, we had a power team. We hit doubles, obviously, and um, we've been playing our game ever since. And we've been successful. Talking to Nick yesterday, you know, it sounds like the hair thing starting to happen again. Are you going to do anything special? Or? Uh, yeah, I got some blonde going on. Right oh now, yeah, you already did it. Yeah, um, the blonde hair seems to work for us, so everybody's going to do it. Uh, here soon, either tomorrow or Monday before the AC tournament starts. And so, uh, Coach Mike? We'll, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. He was, a little, he was a little hesitant last year, so we'll see what he does this year. He's never done it, right? No, he got some little streaks, but I wasn't a fan <laughs> of it. I told him he needed more, but he didn't buy into it. He's, he's old. He's got thin hair, so he's fine. Anything else? Thoughts, you know, real quick. Obviously, you guys going to Durham. You know, your thoughts uh, going there again? Um, I mean, it's just another place. It's a neutral field. Uh, there's no advantage to anyone. And uh, I just feel like we're going to make a run and surprise a lot of people.